Hey guys, I'm Kate with Type Match, and welcome to my brand new segment that I'm going to call Not Such Wise Wisdom, where I show you some of the flow charts and graphs and equations that I have created for different things that I have thought about just because this is fun for me to do, and it's what I really love to do, and this is my channel, so I can do what I want. Um, so the first episode, we are going to explore responsibility versus obligation and the different places that that can lead you to in your life. So my boyfriend and I created this together and the way we broke down the difference between responsibility and obligation is whether the desire to do the thing is present because either way it's like something that you have to do or are supposed to do but if you desire to do the thing it's a responsibility. If you don't desire to do the thing then it falls under the category of obligations. So let's go First, to the side of responsibilities. You've got two options with your responsibilities. You can take action or not take action. If you don't take action on your responsibilities, you're ultimately going to feel like a failure. Like this is all showing you like where it's really going to lead in terms of like feeling and um, your place in your in your life. And then if you do take action on your responsibilities, um, it could lead to a positive emotion like, okay, I did that thing um, that I want to do, that I desire to do, that I have to do, and I felt good about it. It gives me a sense of purpose. It gives me a sense of meaning. And that leads up to more responsibility. And then you just kind of end up in this like flow cycle of meaning gained from your responsibilities. This is basically like what Jordan Peterson is talking about in a flow chart. Um, and then, okay, let's go to the side of obligation. Obligations, things you have to do that you don't want to do. We've all got them. Two options, compliance or avoidance. I got a little bit erased. Um, so avoidance of your obligations, you know, this is something that feels so good to do in the moment. Like, I'm not going to go to that thing. I'm just going to stay home and do what I want to do. Hashtag self-care or whatever. But ultimately, like avoiding your obligations leads to self-indulgence and is that really taking care of yourself like you're just going to end up like a, you know a slob um and that's harsh but like whatever you know that's that's extreme um and then our other option with your obligations is compliance which can lead to three different directions one you could comply with something that you don't want to do um feel a negative emotion from it and then that will lead to a sense of resentment you can feel nothing while doing it. It's like, ah, oh, somebody gotta do it, it's fine, whatever. But it doesn't make me feel anything one way or the other. This ultimately can lead to, like if you have a lot of these in your life, complacency. And I think that's where a lot of people are in terms of their jobs. You know, they, they have to go and they're just kind of like in the routine of doing all the things that they have to do in their life, you know. Uh, life admin and in their work it doesn't make them feel anything doesn't give them any sense of meaning and they've just fallen into a place of complacency in their life um, and then third option with compliance is that it can lead to, lead to a positive emotion you know I didn't want to do this thing I wasn't looking forward to it but I had to do it so I'm like fine I'll do it and you know what I felt good it gave me purpose it gave me meaning so I'm going to cycle back up and that's going to be in under the category of responsibility now for me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I explained it pretty succinctly. Thank you for watching the first episode of Not Such Wise Wisdom. If you thought this was wise, please leave a like. If you didn't think this was so wise, well, I told you. So you're the silly goose for watching it. Um, and that's it. You could check out Type Match on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and the Type Match app on the Google Play Store and coming to Iowa soon and typematchapp.com.